So question five, we get a, a traditional word problem application. So a store sells cashews for $5 per pound and peanuts $2.50 per pound. The manager decides to mix 10 pounds of peanuts with some cashews and sell the mixture for $3 a pound. How many pounds of cashews should be mixed with the peanuts so that the mixture will produce the same revenue as would be selling the nuts separately? So what we'll pick up on is he's mixed them, but notice though it's only moving the price up to three dollars per pound. So to me, there's it's going to be closer to the peanuts. So to me, he's got there's going to be more peanuts than cashews would be my thinking. So what we're trying to do is figure out how many pounds of cashews are in the mixture. So Notice how we have two unknowns. We don't know how many peanut the pounds of peanuts. And we don't know the pounds of cashews. But we do know he's 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 got a mixture of 10 pounds. So we pick up on is the pounds of peanuts plus the pounds of cashews is going to equal 10 pounds. Now, instead of writing pounds of peanuts and pounds of cashews, what I can do is say let x equal represent the pounds of peanuts, and I can let y equal the pounds of cashews. So I could rewrite this as then x plus y is equal to 10 if I wanted to. Doing so, what we pick up on all is um, we're going to have a, a cost for these 10 pounds. So we're going to have like five times the uh, so it's five dollars per pound. So five dollars per pound of that's going to be cashews, though. So we have two fifty per pound for cashews plus five dollars per pound of cashews, and what we're looking for is a mixture of. $3 per pound. So this is going to be $3 for uh, peanuts and cashews. So it's going to be X plus Y. That's going to represent that mixture. So we have, they're going to be equivalent to each other. So he wants, how these are sold individually, he wants this equal how they're sold together. So that kind of creates that second equation, if you will. So those are the conditions he wants. So to me, I'm thinking there's more peanuts than cashews. So I'm going to guess seven pounds of peanuts. That means there's got to be three pounds of cashews. So that means if I multiply $2.50 times the seven plus the five dollars times the pounds of cashews, that's got to be equivalent to three times X plus Y, which was the 10 in this case. So if we do that math, 2.5 times seven plus five times three, we get 32.5. So that means I probably need to put more peanuts in there. So let's say eight pounds of peanuts. So my second guess would be eight peanuts and two cashews. So if I follow this through, 2.5 times eight plus five times two has to equal three times 10. So if I do that math, 
times eight plus five times two, that equals 30. So that would be the answer. And I did that in two guesses. Now you could use algebra as well. You could say, I have a system of equations. I have X plus Y, let's see here. So X plus Y is equal to 10. And I have this 2.5X plus this 5Y. And if I multiply that through, that's gonna be 3X plus 3Y. So to create a system of equations, what I could do is set this to zero, if you will. So I'm gonna leave the X plus Y equals 10 for the time being. I'm gonna subtract this 3X on both sides. So I have to have this 2.5 subtract three. That's gonna give me a negative 0.5X. Then if I subtract three Y, that's five minus three, that's gonna be minus two Y. I'm sorry, it's gonna be a plus two Y is equal to then zero. So if I use the elimination method, notice that if I multiply the top equation by a negative two, I could knock out the y's. So if I multiply the top equation by a negative two, I can create an equation where I can make the y's disappear. So I have negative two x minus two y is equal to negative 20. And we have this negative 0.5x, if you will, plus this two y is equal to, again, that's still zero. So notice that the, um, the y's drop out. This gives me a negative 2.5x, if you will. Lost the x there. Negative 2.5x equals this negative 20. So if I divide negative 20 by negative 2.5, hoping for 8. And we do get 8. So x equals this 8. And then again, like we said, they have to add up to 10. So Y would have to equal two. So again, X was the pounds of peanuts, which we're now saying is eight pounds of peanuts. And Y represent the cashews. That's going to be two pounds of cashews. So there should be two pounds of cashews in the mixture.